Hi everyone, I just created this site for my application called GenFocus by using AI. I just knew a little bit of coding and I did not want to code all of this landing page. Neither I wanted to go towards the path of no-code tools like WordPress, Card and other tools available in the market. I thought why not take the help of AI because AI has got so much better these days. And finally, I was able to create a landing page for my application GenFocus and it looks beautiful. It looks modern and it looks beautiful. So how did I do it? I'm going to show you a step by step method that I followed to create a site. This site is currently hosted on the sub domain of my main domain genfocus.prakashsosipax.com. So we are going to talk about everything. We are going to talk about how to create a website using AI, then how to build it and how to host it. Let me go through the overview. First, we'll be using V0, which is an AI tool by Borsell, but you can also use any other tool, but this is currently the best one in the market for creating websites like this. Then we'll be using web hosting to host our site, but you can also use other providers like Cloudflare, GitHub, Netlify, Borsell, etc. But since I already had web hosting, I chose to go down that path. Here's what I did to create this site. First. I created a site with V0, but you can also use any other AI tool. Then I created a development environment and created a React project by installing all the required dependencies for that website. I built the website finally and after building the website, I needed to host it uh, on my web hosting. So I did that and finally I was able to get my site live. Now first let's go to the site V0 generate ui with simple text prompts copy paste and save it is that easy you just need to copy paste and save these are some of the chat history i just have four chats till now because i started using v0 just yesterday and this was something i asked randomly to create a time tracker app like to create a website for time tracking and this is the preview that it generated new task okay great uh, and these were the three chats to thank you for watching this video this is a first video after a very long time on this channel i did asking it to create a landing page for my website and this was the first one in which i did not give it any of the context about the app and then here i gave some context about my app you can see the prompt i used i asked it to create a landing page for a Mac application called GenFocus and I provided it all of the code from the onboarding view of the app which included all the important information about the application and I asked it to create a beautiful visually appealing landing page strong enough to pull in the visitors to download the app. The app should have a visual appeal and interactive elements make it modern looking and make it beautiful and here is the code from onboarding view and it gave me a good response even on the first try you can see here this is what it looked like on the first try and after making few changes this was what it was able to get to and i was pretty satisfied with that now we had created this website we had all the code for this site and this site was built by using react so we needed a way to build this site and host this site I did not know anything so I asked cloud to help me let me go to my cloud account I'm still using the free version of the cloud and it's amazing how much you can do even with the free AI tools when with free access to AI tools so I asked it to create a step-by-step -step guide for building and hosting the site by pasting the code that the v0 created i copied all of this code from here and i pasted it to cloud so that it can get a context of what i was trying to build and after that it gave me a step-by-step -step guide and this is what i followed so first i needed to in, uh, install the development variables node.js and npm node package manager and since i was on mac it was easy for me to do using homebrew and i searched for node.js and there was this code i just need to copy it go to terminal add it over here and it would install node and npm after that i created a new project from the terminal by using this command npx create react app gen focus this is the name of the app and then 
went to the direct phase gen focus and then after that it was required to install all of the required package these are the packages which are used in this code in this code given by gen focus you can see here we are using lucidity react framer motion components ui button etc and let me go back over here and you can see we are installing radix ui react slot lucidity react and framer motion all of these uh, packages that were used in this code okay after all of this our project was built and if i go to my drive here is the gen focus uh, folder here, here is the structure of the project so i made sure that the project structure was similar to what the ai was saying so in the src folder it asked me to create components inside components uh, create a new folder called ui and create necessary components like button js and nabling js since I did not know what to put inside this button JS and nabling JS, I asked it to uh, create the code to put inside these files as well. So it gave me the response again and I was able to add it to here. Components UI and button.js and nabling JS. Nabling .js. And finally to implement the components, I need to copy the code given by V0. So I just copied the code from B0 here that I already had and created a new file called landingpage.js. Okay, let me show these side by side. Okay, landingpage.js. I, I had this file over here and you can see all of the code that I copied. 235 lines of code. I'll close this. And I also had to uh, add styles, so I used all of these commands in the terminal. npm install detailwind post CSS auto prefixer and this. After that, after doing all of that, I run the command npm start, which was to start the development server. Uh, I'll show you what I did. First, I have this project folder. I just copy the path of this. Okay cd path okay now we are inside this gen focus folder now what i need to do is just press npm start and it will start building the development server and we have our site live localhost uh, colon 3000 and this was how the site looked but i need to get this site live on my own domain that is my own subdomain genfocus.prakashjoshipacks.com so I needed a way to host since I was already using a web hosting it was easier for me to integrate within that web hosting to host this site we will first need to build the site for that okay I will just terminate this I will open the terminal go to command and the genfocus folder and here you will need to run npm okay run and build and this will create a build folder inside this gen focus folder you can see here we have all of these build files that are required to host this site if i go back let's go over here okay these are all the files that are required to host our site so first you will need to create an archive of all of these files compress and it created an archive and I would need to go to my web hosting which is host armada I went to the cPanel and I already had created a subdomain so I'll just go to file manager and over here is the subdomain directory genfocus.prakashjoshifax.com I already have all of these sites over here so what I did was I'll just delete all of these to show you from the beginning skip trash config okay so now if i go to the site genfocus.prakashjoshipacks.com it says either not found because we deleted all of the files on our subdomain so you will need to first upload the archive file over here archive.zip okay 
now once it is uploaded go back to your directory right click click on extract and choose the path as this subdomain close one okay i'll just delete this archive folder skip delete okay and now our site was live if i go back and use the subdomain we have it here there was one more thing that i need to do that was to configure my cloudflare account because i was using cloudflare for dns so if you are using cloudflare you will also need to configure your cloudflare account to use this subdomain this is really how i set up a site in a very short amount of time i created the site and i host the site using my own web hosting and it was pretty smooth but i had to go through a lot of errors during the process and it was very fun to work with cloud cloud was able to solve all of the problems that i received uh, if i had any problems if i got any errors i would just copy the error and feed into the cloud ai and it would give me the response and by following the step by step guide by cloud i was able to solve the issue so this is really amazing how far ai have come this is a simple landing page right but there are people who are building a very complex apps and websites uh, using ai and there are other tools as well in the future videos we'll be exploring more on these ai tools and how we can build what we like to build uh, using ai without having any coding experience or coding knowledge i want to thank you for watching this video this is a first video after a very long time on this channel